What's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? This is Cerebral Final Four, and I have a new deck profile to show you guys for the expanded format, not standard. But we're gonna be looking at the Weavile Dark Box deck, as it's called. Uh, this good little GX here with the Shadow Connection ability. We've seen this before a few times. It's a strong, it's a strong ability. It allows certain tactics to be good, and this is what we're gonna do. Now the reason this deck is called Dark Box is because uh, you aim to use a bunch of different attackers, so you, you know, you have flexible options supposedly. And we're going to be looking through them, but if you don't know what this uh, Weavile GX does, basically with Shadow Connection, as often as you like, uh, you can move basic darkness energies from one Pokemon to another. You can do this as many times as you like, however you like, so it's really good, it's really strong. You move the energies around and you can do some rad combos. Uh, his attack is Claw Slash. You probably don't ever want to use this dude to attack. And risk risk him getting knocked out. You lose a bunch of darkness energies too. Which the point of this deck is to conserve them. And in Nocturnal Maneuvers, you definitely don't want to use this GX attack too. Because uh, the GX attack is really important in this deck. Uh, we're going to talk about it as well. But if you want to know what it does, search your deck for any number of basic Pokemon, put them out to your bench. Uh, you don't want to do this, ever. Now, I have a 2-2 line of this guy, and it's pretty thin, to be honest. I wish I could run more, but this deck is really, really pressed when it comes to space. Uh, building a deck like this is hell for me, because there's many, many cards that I want to fit in, and it's impossible. You can't fit everything. You guys are going to see a, a bunch of... Uh, cards here and then you're gonna think of oh a bunch of cards that I didn't run uh, but yeah so the Sneasel it's this uh, Ultra Prism one I like it the best and not only because of Cyrus uh, if you do open with this Pokemon you can use a sneaky smash if you play second and discord and energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon ambush one for ten and maybe you can do 30 for one if you get lucky uh, the other Sneasels aren't really that much better. There's the 60 HP one that can do high damage if you have a lot of uh, darkness energies around or a lot of Pokemon, actually. I don't remember. But I like this one with 70 HP. There's a few other 70 HP ones, but this one is Sneaky Smash and Ambush. Okay, so 2-2 two -two Weavile line. And this guy is very important because if, if he gets knocked out if you don't get him out, if he's prized, you can't get one out or whatever. Uh, this deck falls apart on its own, basically. Uh, like, if you get a few Darkness Energies around and this guy suddenly gets KO'd, uh, depending on how you have spread them around, uh, you might as well just uh, lose yourself. Uh, you're defeating yourself in a way. Anyways, so, the attackers. I've got the two... Greninja and Zorok GX here. This deck kind of functions like a Greninja Zorok GX Turbo in a way, where early game, mid game, we're probably going to use this guy to uh, do a little bit of damage since he can attack with two energies. Uh, if not, you're just going to be stalling until you gather enough darkness energies. And then use your big boys, uh, mainly this guy, Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX. So, this dude. Uh, has a lot of HP, 280. It's one of the higher ones when it comes to attack team GXs. A massive retreat, uh, weakness to fighting and resistance to psychic standard stuff, and it has two very, very big attacks. But they can be possible in a deck like this. Uh, Greedy Crush is going to do 210, but if you knock out a GX or EX Pokemon, you get an extra prize. So this can be pretty dangerous for your opponent if they slip up if they allow themselves to get KO'd with this guy, with this attack, it's going to be pretty bad. Because if you KO a regular GX, it's like you, t it's like you knocked out Attack Team GX. And if you knock out Attack Team GX, then you're going to get four prizes. Can't get better than this. Now, the reason I have him in here, though, uh, besides this, is mainly because of its high HP. So, a lot of the times, we can just use this guy as a tank, absorb a little bit of damage, and then you can use Max Potion. I'll get to that later. And Gigafall GX is GX attack. You might use this sometimes. You do 250 for 5, so you're going to get a lot of significant KOs. Uh, and if you gather 10, 
you can mill 15 cards of your opponent's deck. Uh, you won't be able to do this often, but it is possible too. I've done it myself. <laughs> it's crazy, but I've done it myself, play testing, and I've I've had somebody do it against me too. So it's possible. You do 250, and then your opponent mills 15 cards from their deck too. Uh, do this at the right time, you win. To be honest, though. I just really wanted, want to have him around for the high HP and to switch in between attackers. Next up is going to be this uh, Umbreon and Darkrai GX. I don't believe you should run more than one of this guy unless you really just want to have somebody as a backup. The best thing about him is the Dark Moon GX attack. Uh, if you have uh, six Darkness Energies pretty much, you get an instant knockout and your opponent can't play any trainers too. Uh, it's pretty busted. Uh, but you basically just have him for this, get an instant KO on any Pokemon. Gathering 6 Darkness Energies in this deck is much easier than gathering something like 10. So you're going to get max value from this attack. And Black Lance is decent, but most of the time, I think people right now run Mew or in Expanded, maybe Mr. Mime. Just something to get some bench protection, so you won't always get that plus. But if you do, he's pretty good. You might set up some KOs with this too. And this is where he pairs up nicely with Tyranidar. If you do 60 on a GX Pokemon, softened up, then 210 should be able to finish it off. And then uh, you get the extra prize. So you can do cool shit like that. Right. He's also pretty big, 270, uh, which is why we run him. So it's pretty good. And then the last Pokemon, uh, you don't really going to attack with him, but he's in here for support. The last Dark Dude is this Darkrai EX. I like having this guy around. Uh, two might be overkill for some people, but I want to have him. I want to make sure he's on the bench. Uh, if he dies, I have another one. Or if he gets prized, uh, I have another one. Dark Cloak. You don't ever want to use Night Spear these days. It's just too risky. Uh, he's probably going to die and doing 120 total isn't good. But you never know. And then the last two Pokemon is this... New for bench bench protection. Uh, I run this dude because maybe you're going to use Psy Power. And uh, now that I think about it, you probably won't ever do this. So maybe I should just get him out and put uh, Mr. Mime again. But for now, it's he's in here. Um, new bench barrier. And the Tapu Lele GX. Get us any supporter. Search your ball with Cherish Ball. Just a very good card in general. I like this better than the Dene GX. So have this guy around, make sure you get a supporter. Alright, so the Trainer Skeleton, where things get crazy. So, what you want to do in this deck, since you have the ability to move energies around, and you have huge ass Tag Team GX Pokemon, what you want to do, the strength of this deck, one of the strengths of this deck, is to move energies around, so essentially save the energies, and then use a Max Potion on your big guy. So if your opponent more than likely, they'll have, a, they'll have a difficult time getting a complete one-hit knockout on these Tag Team GX Pokemon. So if they do a lot of damage, they don't quite get the KO, Max Potion is going to heal them off. This is a strategy that's been used pretty much since the black and white days, where the dude uh, sort of uh, innovated the strategy with Clink Clang, Darkrai, and Rainbow Energies. And then when we got Hydreigon and Aromatisse, you could do this even easier. It's the same thing. Only two max potion. Uh, like I said, space is quite an issue in this deck. Now the other card that pairs up nicely with this combo is three Fighting Fury Belt. So I had a maximum amount of this, and I even had a Float Stone and a uh, Tool Back, but it's impossible. I had to cut those off. So we just have three of this. So having something like Choice Band or even Muscle Band helps you with KOs. For example, if this guy has a choice band, uh, you can do 280 with a muscle band 270. So you can get exact one hit knockouts on things like Tag Team Reshiram GX, Mewtwo GX, Mewtwo and New GX. But it's more important to have that extra HP. Uh, with this, Darkrai becomes 310, and this guy becomes 320. And it becomes even more difficult for your opponent to get that KO and makes Max Potion even better to be honest so I feel it's really necessary to run these cards uh, your opponent will probably might run field blower and maybe 
uh, megaphone, start the megaphone, but uh, most most people don't run like more than one of those cards. And if they run two, maybe they'll discard one, maybe they'll discard your stadium. So, you know, maybe one of them is going to stick or maybe even more of them are going to stick. And you get that plus. You get a, a little bit of extra damage too. It's even good on Greninja Zorark, boosting the damage, making this guy 290. And these big, type, th these big tag team GXs are difficult to KO, especially with the Fury Belt. Right. So that's basically one of the benefits you can do. Uh, one of the standard tactics, I guess, when you move energies around and use a Pokemon like this. You want to heal, make your opponent's attacks worthless. Okay, so in this kind of a deck in Expanded, you got to gather those darkness energies. And the best way to do this is, of course, you got to run the dark patches, a maximum amount of these, get the darkness energies. And then I run Triple Max Elixir. So I, I was never the biggest fan of this card because you rely on a chance, but it's pretty necessary in this deck. Uh, I, I wanted to run, like you guys can see, there's no Professor's Letters, there's not even Darkrai Prism. Cards that I usually run in this kinds of Darkness decks, it's just too much. It's just using a lot of resources uh, for space, uh, not reliable. And I couldn't run a lot of Darkness Energies either, so I had to drop those cards and run more of these uh, instead so hopefully we get lucky we have 12 darkness energies I make my best to run at least 12 I don't want to go less than that and if you get lucky like use this at the right time like if you see your hand okay I've opened up a bunch of cards no energies then there's a good chance if I use this there's a bunch of energies in the deck okay or if you use a supporter and then you draw let's say three darkness energies in hand maybe you don't want to risk using this because you're gonna miss it maybe wait until you play Cynthia or something you just stuff you have to think about now, some people just like to play this as soon as possible but I don't want to play it and miss it because these are the only ways we can get darkness energies besides our manual attachment there's no Darkrai GX there's no space for that guy there's no Darkrai Prism I can't run things like Naganadal in this deck. I don't have that anyway, and I don't want to run multiple stage 1 lines in this deck. It's slow as it is. So, yeah. The, the, this is all you got. The aspect of choice is going to be the computer search. This and Ultra Ball are pretty much our only discord outlets. Dump a few darkness energies, and maybe you can use Dark Patch early. That's good. Uh, then for the other, I guess, search consistency balls, I've got one Nest Ball. This is in here because uh, it's the best way to get Darkrai, EX, and Sneasel. Uh, I wish I could run more, but there's no way. And then Cherish Ball. Uh, I run three of these. I run three Cherish Ball because it's our best way to search out the Weavile, uh, which is very, very significant. And it can search the other GXs too. So I can get Darkrai and Umbreon, uh, Tyranidar, Sableye if I want to. Uh, Tapu Lele GX, of course, transforms it to a supporter. So Cherish Ball is just too good. I actually wanted to max this out, but once again, space. It's that damn space. Right. Uh, we got our usual text that I run the Field Blower and Startling Megaphone for two removal uh, against. Uh, Un unsuspecting Garbodors, you never know when you run into them and just get getting rid of other tools uh, on Pokemon there's a lot of broken stuff now uh, but yeah it's important because if you lose your abilities you lose the game yeah, with this deck that's just how it is you rely a lot on abilities it's just crazy okay uh, switch I do run one switch I don't have the space for floatstone homer there will be a floatstone in here too but we don't have space for that. The one trainer's mail, consistency, excellent card. And double via seeker. I've got uh, the one rescue stretcher. You never know what you're going to want to recycle. You know, typical text that can save your ass at the right time. All right. And the last thing to talk about is the supporters and the stadiums. So as you guys can see, I'm running double shadow circle, the old x and y stadium this card is great i don't have the prism one and even if i had it i don't know i mean i probably would run it because 
softening up the KOs on the tag team GXs is broken as fuck. Uh, die and then your opponent gets only two prizes. But I don't have that. So we'll go in double shadow circle. Uh, I don't need to boost the damage further with things like the devoured field and uh, whatever the other stadium is called that boosts darkness Pokemon's attacks. I always forget it. It's not the Chaos Tower. It's something else. But anyway, uh, I always I always call it a Chaos Tower, but it's it's it has a different name. Uh, the stadium that has two effects depending on how you have it facing. But Shadow Circle is good because you need a counter stadium this day and age with all the Prism stadiums around, and eliminating the weaknesses on these dudes is very useful because you know all this extra crazy HP is worthless if you're gonna get hit by fighting Pokemon and die easily so that's why it's important it's important to have around and the supporters pretty much typical stuff since this is expanded we got on our one chorus and our junipers three of her I'm still running my one N and double Cynthia and you can use via seeker if you want to use more of each one Lysander, like this better than Guzma, also something you can reuse with Via Seeker. And the one Skylight, because you never know what you want to grab. Maybe you want to grab Max Potion, Dark Patch at a specific time, even Max Elixir. Cherish Bald instantly get Weavile, you never know when this is going to be handy. And that's pretty much the deck, 12 Darkness Energies. Now, this deck is, is good once it gets going, but... You know, I feel like the disadvantages are probably a lot more than the advantages. Uh, you rely a lot on Weavile. Like I've said, if this guy, if you can't use this guy, then this deck falls apart on its own. Um, you've got slow attackers. You don't have efficient ways to deal with, um, you know, safeguard GX immune Pokemon. I mean, you pretty much don't have anything like... This is why I wanted to have the Darkrai Prism too, but there's just no space. No space, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah. Slow deck, reliance on Weavile. Um, reliance on abilities too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do, you do have some decent matchups though, and once you get going, you know, it, it's going to be very good against Peon decks that can't get one-hit knockouts and can't do really high damage you know they're never gonna be able to beat you you control the game uh, like things like let's say Gyarados decks uh, that do 240 maximum you have them at your mercy uh, against Lost March that can be pretty good as well Charizard maybe even not too sure uh, but yeah these are more tier 2 decks you could say but I'm going to show you guys a matches uh, with this deck like I always do and expand it. And I hope you guys look forward to it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe to my channel for TCG content, Pokemon TCG content. Thank you guys for, I already said that, whatever the fuck. Anyway, Cyberwolf 4 we'll say.